Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. Is this, whenever I get, I see a deck like in my mind's eye like this, there's always a, a message and it's very clear. It's very direct. Um, so there's a reason here why I'm just pulling the cards this way because it's literally a, it's a, it's a, it's a complete story here. It's very clear. So right now this could be you or this could be a masculine energy, masculine. This could be male or female. Doesn't matter. But there's a big, big opportunity that's about to bring a huge windfall of abundance. It's going to make someone very happy. Someone is receiving some type of offer. There's an opportunity. Someone is building something I'm hearing from the ground up or something um, is being gifted or offered to someone that is going to bring them a lot of stability. Now, this is in its beginning stages, whatever it is. All right. So. This something here is is taking place now, but it's going to really set the tone um, for something later. Something is being created that's going to affect um, for some the next 10, 20 years of your life. Somebody here is uh oh, sorry. Someone here is building a life. They're building a foundation. They're building a business. They could be investing in something. This to me is family inheritance. It's um, generational wealth. Somebody is very serious about and, and they're taking the steps right now to make this happen. Whatever this opportunity is could in involve some type of movement or travel, but it's like someone here with these two energies, both representing movement. Someone is walking away from something and they're going towards something else. The eight of cups. This signifies that there's a journey here. Someone could be traveling or um, relocating or there's, yeah, there, there's some kind of distance or travel here. Hmm. Okay. Someone here has already moved. OK. There is a masculine who possibly already moved somewhere. For an opportunity, someone has already moved somewhere for an opportunity, but I feel like they had to turn their back on whatever this opportunity is because it was moving very slowly. So someone here has already possibly moved or traveled to be. A part of some type of business, a collaboration, a partnership of some sort, but they weren't really receiving the benefits, the rewards, the recognition that they thought that they were going to receive. Someone here was under the impression that um, an idea or an offer, it was going to take off. I don't think that that's what happened. What actually happened here? So I'm, I'm getting there. There's some there's past energy and there's current energy here, too. And of course, future the energy is fluid. But this is something that has already happened. I'm hearing that very clearly. Someone already moved somewhere. Somebody could have taken a job or an offer. Somebody took something and then it, it will slow down. There was a promise here. There was a promise to be in a happy, committed relationship. There was a promise to make a lot of money. A, a masculine really thought that they had hit jackpot. It's not so much that they were bamboozled, but somebody here had to take this path, this journey in order for them to learn what they needed to walk away from. So something that someone has pursued, it, I'm hearing it came to a screeching halt. Okay. It's not what God wanted or intended for somebody. Somebody had to go on a journey to learn one thing, something specific. And they may have learned this from some type of partnership or collaboration. Somebody is about to branch out on their own now and start something different. I don't really want to even get into the drama, but I am seeing something here. Um, that could pose a problem for some people. Now, obviously we see the emperor and the empress out here. The four of swords is here. Okay. This emperor could have been on 
a certain path or journey. I'll be honest, they could have even been, um, they could have been making a lot of money. They could have been tied in with a group, a family, and a committed relationship, marriage, or something. They had roots somewhere, or they were intending, um, make, they had set the intention to have roots to create a foundation someplace. Something came to a screeching halt, and then this empress popped up. This empress popped up and this same masculine is now going through an awakening. The eight of swords is here. Okay. We have the king of wands and the judgment. There's a masculine out here who is seeing Wow, there could be a masculine out here. They're seeing that a divine feminine has been in some kind of mental entrapment or confusion or bound somehow. The tower is here. There's a huge epiphany or revelation and somebody now is blocking out this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is not this Empress. And then the Hierophant. So someone here stuck in some type of limited beliefs or someone here who works in some type of official position. This could even be someone um, part of a religious organization or something here. Someone could also just be in like in the spirit community, spiritual community and occultist or whatever. There is a masculine here who sees the truth that something concerning their life or their lifestyle has affected a, a divine feminine energy. This person is now going through a serious like tower moment and they're going through an awakening. It's not a bad thing, but see, yeah, uh, look at this six of cups and the, the three of swords. This person is recovering from something from their past. Justice is here. Somebody is, is like they're trying to get over a situation from the past. There's going to be victory. And this person is determined to have victory and success. Look, three of cups. Oh my goodness. <laughs> The temperance and the star. Somebody is going towards their divine path. Now, we did just have a full moon in Sagittarius like a week ago. Someone, I feel, tried to bait a person in somehow to get someone to make some type of decision. And, and, and it seems like it was one of those things where, you know, everything that glitters is a gold. Somebody definitely tried to get someone tricked into doing something. But I want you to look at these cards. This masculine energy has already made a decision. On all these cards, this masculine's hand is on this wand. And I feel like somebody here, whether it's you or someone you're doing, someone absolutely made the right decision. But see, somebody was watching the decision because whoever this is there was two different feminines here here again we have the queen of swords the queen of cups and then the magician card wow and the high priestess so um, and here's this queen of pentacles and the emperor there's um there's a masculine out here who is coming to realize that Their divine feminine is 11, 11 on the clock has been attacked by a group of people that they know. Friends, family could be someone's sister. I just heard the trumpet has been blown. This King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sagittarius is out here with the temperance card. Something is being balanced out. Somebody saw this masculine taking 
action because again something there's something is in the planning stage we have these pages out here someone is in the planning stage but they're making a decision to go towards a passion new beginning all right so somebody was watching this passion new beginning and i feel like they decided that they were going to with this queen of swords energy they were going they, they tried to outsmart a person by watching someone's beginning with this queen of cups someone went to a priest a priestess to use magic or someone tried to convince a person to do some type of magic or to manipulate a person and it didn't work this masculine declined there's a masculine out here who has declined some type of offer they were not baited into something the ace of swords the ace of pentacles here whoever these people are in this three of pentacles here something came to a, a screeching halt this page of pentacles here so you have a masculine with the ten of pentacles somebody tried to make an offer it's, it's, i'm seeing it now this page of pentacles somebody came in and tried to make an offer to this masculine of you know we could be so happy together you're going to be so happy so happy a cancer could be involved if you move forward i feel like somebody tried to trick or bribe someone if you move forward with me instead of walking away you will have exactly what you need what you want this could be a friend family member lover for some this is even like the devil the enemy has tried to bait a person in somebody almost really tried to trick somebody honestly to like sell their soul now this could be a divine feminine or masculine going through this it could be both this is i feel for just a, a collective of divine beings obviously somebody or something tries to come in and trick you it's obvious with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups that right between this ten of pentacles and the ten of cups boom there's an offer here but this offer is a page of pentacles offer yeah it's something new it's something small but it's something here that is it's not genuine. Somebody came in to try to um, bait you in emotionally. Because in between the, the Ten of Pentacles, there's something tangible. Ten of Cups is emotional. Everybody, you, you want, you know, tangible and intangible assets. You want emotional fulfillment. You want security and stability. But right when this divine masculine, this emperor energy here, I feel made a choice to really get something tangible somebody came in and decided i'm going to bait you into a family situation this could be someone who has kids like an ex-lover someone could have said you know i think it's best that you come back home because of the kids it's something like that and it, it involves possibly children family finances all of that somebody wants a person to move forward with them and turn their back but again this divine feminine energy here is like almost like someone's secret weapon i'm gonna say this page of pentacles whatever this offer that came in and like i said it came to a screeching call this was a, a group collaboration and effort somebody thought like whatever this offer is it, it will stop it came to a screeching halt because somebody said no i'm not gonna leave something that they've already started to create or become invested in instead this emperor decided to take time out to rest to retreat to heal to go within about something Somebody has gone within and what they've discovered is a true divine feminine energy here. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be two people. For some of you, this is just a balance of your own feminine and masculine energy. Take it however it resonates. Someone has become <laughs> aware that a person was trying to bind them and even sacrifice them possibly. And I'm hearing saved by the bell. Somebody woke up right on time and they decided to protect themselves. This, pe this pentacle here is constantly in motion.
this emperor has something to offer. Somebody tries to come in and take something from an emperor before he could offer it to this divine feminine, possibly. This masculine, though, this emperor energy went within and saw the plot, the plan. And I feel like they stood in and protected this queen of pentacles. No, they didn't protect this queen of pentacles. This queen of pentacles, what this masculine did is they made sure that this queen of pentacles kept whatever this dirty offer was. Mm -hmm. So I'm even getting for some of you Somebody could have um, tried to come towards you. Someone could have tried to get you to go travel with them or meet them somewhere. Something here about distance, about travel products or something. Somebody could have even tried to um, like send you something. I just heard mail order pharmacy. Mail order pharmacy. So, you know, like it, you can get your um, like medicine delivered for like a 90 day supply. Three months could be of significance. The three of pentacles is here. Somebody could have tried to send someone something. Um, Knights is like a messenger. Somebody could have tried to send someone a message, an item. They could have sent something to someone's house. Somebody could have even sent some type of dark spirit or an entity or something like that to a person's house. And I feel like the trumpet was blown. Somebody quickly realized, like, no, you don't need to accept an offer here. This hierophant. It's like God stepped in and was like, oh, no. Somebody, and I'm also here. It's, it's sort of like, I'm seeing so much stuff. It's like a divine feminine or masculine Someone knows about like a counterpart situation or about a business idea. Take it however it resonates. Somebody was trying to block this offer from getting to someone, but God stepped in and was like, no. But this is something tangible. A person literally tried to send something out to a person to hook them. So that they would be stuck. This was meant to bring heartbreak and pain. This could have been from someone from a person's past. It's going to have some kind of past life karmic energy attached to it. Nine of Swords, the Justice. S somebody, I'm hearing, I, they had to wake up from this bad dream. Or somebody had a dream about something happening. And they knew that they had to quickly get into action to call justice on the situation if they were going to be able to celebrate and have victory and success to so going towards something here that's destined. So there's like possibly here a full moon ritual or something that someone did. Okay. Somebody could have attempted to do this at least three times. Somebody is trying to bait a person in to hook them energetically or emotionally, or someone is trying to send an inner like projected energy to someone's home. I'm definitely getting with mail order pharmacy. That's what I heard. Like somebody here has possibly tried to do something with someone's medication, some type of substance or someone, um, like I said, has tried to send something to someone's home or their car or both. This was to cause someone to be delayed or sacrificed. The eight of swords is here next to the hangman and the divine, like the emperor, the empress card and the four of swords. If you look at all these cards, there's somebody, oh, wow. You know, if you look at this card, like, this even makes you think about, like, um, <laughs> an emergency almost. Somebody here was able to recognize, I feel, that there was some type of setup to po possibly actually hurt a divine feminine energy. Somebody saw this. Somebody saw with their own two eyes or witness that, listen, somebody here is trying to get someone trapped in a legal situation 
or to have someone spiritually bound so that they can try to sacrifice this person. This did not go according to the plan because somebody stepped in and protected this person. I'm really getting it's like a divine feminine energy. God was like, no, because here you have the Hierophant, the Temperance, and the Star. Justice has been served in this situation. And somebody here was using some kind of spiritual or psychic gifts, divination or something like that. To, like I said, try to swap destinies with somebody or something. This queen of swords is looking right at this queen of cups, magician and the high priestess. Somebody, somebody realized um, that someone's divine counterpart, this could for sure be an ex or a family member or someone to a masculine. Somebody here has come to realize that someone's counterpart has some type of psychic gifts or talents or abilities where they can manifest their target changed it switched someone was initially trying to target a masculine and and i feel like when they realized who this divine feminine was they began to target this feminine energy or vice versa or somebody would you know somebody could have been trying to target a divine feminine and then they couldn't get divine feminine, so they started to target the divine masculine. This is a couple that I'm picking up on that um, is possibly moving towards some kind of spiritual union. Somebody has their eye on this relationship. They're closely watching and monitoring this relationship spiritually. Somebody woke up and was like, wait a minute. They saw the truth. And they understood the assignment. Somebody knew exactly where they needed to go in order to either receive an offer or to make an offer. So there is some kind of heavy illusion spell or magic that someone was sending out. And it was to make someone feel like they had missed an opportunity. So this could be like chaos magic. Somebody done some, did like a separation, a breakup spell. Or something, but this was to make it easier for someone to be stuck and bound. Somebody definitely is doing some kind of magic, though. For some of you, somebody is doing some kind of magic where they're trying to bind your sacral chakra energy. You see how those ropes are around her midsection? Someone is trying to bind like a divine feminine sacral or like solar plexus chakra, even all the way up to your heart. Someone is trying to cut, make sure that you don't have willpower. There is no creativity. There is no abundance. They could be doing fertility. Somebody did a lot of magic to try to manipulate a situation to go in their favor. It didn't work because... Whoever this feminine and masculine are, both of these people are gifted in some type of way. Somebody was able to recognize who the snake is. And so here you have the will of fortune. Yeah, the knight of swords. Somebody is going toward, my gosh. Somebody is going straight towards this union, this connection. They already know. Somebody was, somebody tried to make a person second guess a union here. But look at this. Oh my gosh, Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, Death Card, the Ten of Wands. Boy, this was some kind of plan. Seven of Pentacles, somebody's like, wait a minute, something here, somebody has been heavily invested 
and creating all of these illusions, possibly doing death magic, trying to cause a lot of burdens for someone here. Somebody has been in the background causing chaos, confusion, trying to compete with the person so that they will be at a crossroads. But see, what this person doesn't understand is at this crossroads, if you attack this masculine or this feminine, you will instantly be met with Archangel Michael. These two, whoever this person is, because for some of you, this isn't two people, this is just you. Your feminine and masculine energy. But if this is like a a situation of a divine couple, this connection is heavily protected because it's truly destined. God is going to always protect his his angels. It, and something here is your birthright. It just it, it's it's only gonna go the way that God wants it to go. Somebody thought that they were going they were going to bind something. So I'm really getting where. Someone could be in a connection currently with a person who carries like this empress, emperor, or a high priest, high priestess, hierophant, like earth angel energy. Somebody already knows that a person is protecting a union. And this could be someone that you haven't even connected with. But obviously, if you're manifesting your counterpart, you're most likely protecting them. Someone tried to remove the protection from someone's counterpart so that it will be easier for them to attack them. And I really feel that it's the divine feminine because the, the divine feminine is the one here or, or it's both. Somebody tried to cause delays for a masculine and stop this masculine from awakening. They did this though. What they did is they tried to bind the divine feminine's energy, especially the sacral energy in the womb space. The fertility, solar plexus, willpower, confidence. This is most likely a divine feminine who's able to confidently help any person or manif help people to manifest. Somebody who's tried to block that. So somebody tried to separate a feminine and a masculine energy completely. So that some type of union would not come together. I mean, you can see it's nothing but like literally seven of pentacles. Somebody was down to the last. Like we have to make this work. Seven of cups. Mind control. Shock. I just talked about that the other day. So I was saying, make sure some of you, you need to wash, wash your hair. You need a head cleanse. Somebody here did a lot. They invested a lot. To bring an end to a situation. Somebody wanted some, want something to end before it even gets started. The Ten of Wands. But somebody kept pushing. Somebody was like, no, something here isn't right. Seven of Swords, Five of... Yeah, somebody discovered that somebody around them is trying to stop this will from changing to go in the favor of someone having a new lover, a new life, a new contract. Somebody, again, like I said, was spying on this connection. And they picked the perfect time to try to rush in to sabotage a connection using magic, possibly even paying a priest, a priestess somewhere to do this. Somebody did some very, very heavy magic. Very heavy. But again, somebody here who was single, self-sufficient, and abundant, they're still going to go towards a celebration here. Because the King of Swords. This reminds me of that reading I had a few weeks ago where I said, it's like God and Archangel Michael came in and they have said, there, there is an earth angel here who has a destiny, their birthright. It's 100% it's protected. Everything that they do is fail. It's fail proof. You, you cannot, you will not stop this person. Whatever this business is, whatever this relationship is or whatever, it cannot be stopped. And somebody really, really put a lot of work into doing this. There could be three to seven people involved. Yeah, look, somebody was determined to bind a person and block them. Look, juggling here. What do you see? The devil before the, t the two of cups, ace of cups. Baby, somebody did everything to stop. <laughs> Somebody, I'm talking seriously, 
definitely some fertility magic here. These two of pentacles, somebody is, is really trying to uh, tamper with someone's womb. One eleven on the clock. It's something about this new beginning that someone's trying to manifest. Somebody here is very wicked. And they're working. This is a karmic energy here. This could be like a karmic ex. Friend, family member, lover. There's a dark spirit or an entity here that came in once again to block someone from having a new offer in love. But somebody was able to recognize this. this we had a reading like this where I said it's like um, those princes of hell, that, that, that uh, demonic energy that we was picking up on. There are certain demons that literally are against love, marriage, commitment. Um, and then you have like the dark spirits, like the Jezebel spirit. This is where all of this chaos and conflict comes. These are spirits that are very tricky. They're master manipulators. They, they thrive off of having power by manipulating people and situations. Someone was able to figure this out. And this is the reason why a lot of people's counterparts are under attack because oftentimes like the tempers energy, the blending of the two of these energies, you may have one person who's very grounded and stable energetically while the other one is, you know, a bit more aware, um, spiritually tapped in. Somebody was trying to block someone, a person's, spiritual gifts so that they would not actually recognize a connection here so that they wouldn't see an offer that's already in their life or that's coming towards them someone decided though to still take a leap of faith and something here is about to speed up so whatever this is it backfired it's really about to it's it actually it's gonna work in someone's favor because now it's like all gas no brakes because The entity, the it's like the the spell work, the the sp the dark spirit, the dark entity, whatever has been used, someone is aware of it now, so that automatically cancels whatever someone said. That it automatically cancels it. This this was blocked and deleted, but see, someone was trying to stop something before it even got started. So apparently, a person has been using. Whatever type of um, tactics or technology or divination to spy on a relationship. And they thought that they would rush in and block this at the perfect time. So somebody here, this high priestess is possibly working with a very, very um, like gifted psychic. Or someone's ex, a friend, family member, karma, whoever this person, they could be psychic. And they're receiving messages that there's a masculine and a feminine coming together. So this person is using the moon energy to go in and strike. This person sent something out that was supposed to completely ruin someone's new connection. Somebody definitely made an offer. That page of pentacles. And, and this was in motion. You see, like the page of pentacles, it, it was in motion. Somebody could have actually traveled to do this. Wow. It was in motion, but it stopped. The knight of pentacles is in the reverse. They, they're saying that this, it did not work at all. And even if you look at the three of pentacles, somebody here was traveling to keep an eye on a couple, a relationship. So somebody has sent out some type of dark spirit or something to watch and monitor a connection between a divine feminine and a divine masculine. They did work on the divine feminine. 
heart chakra, sacral chakra, for this fertility matter. They did all of this to the divine feminine. And then they tried to create a delay for this divine masculine. It's right here. They didn't want this. And remember I said somebody need to wash their head. And, and here's a bandage around the body. So somebody here was trying to stop the telepathic communication between a masculine and a feminine. Block the crown chakra from these two people. So somebody is aware of some type of energy shift or a, a telepathic download or something that was being shared. It's almost like whoever is doing this, th there's definitely like a mind reader here. Someone is reading the thoughts of this feminine or this masculine. Somebody is tapped into what these two people are manifesting. This also could be someone who I've, you know, spiritually they're doing this, but they're also, they have to be using um, technology, phones. You know, this is that hacker energy. Someone here is watching, listening, monitoring. The plans that are coming together between two people. And it obviously it made someone very, very upset. And they, they jumped right in to try to block this. But see, someone's spirit guides, their angels, their ancestors, their entire spiritual team already knew that this was happening. It's like God was like, Archangel Michael, I need you to handle this situation on such and such day at this time. Because it, it was already clear that somebody was going to, this was a planned attack. This was premeditated. This, for some people in more extreme cases, somebody was planning to have someone have some kind of freak accident, be arrested, or like in like a situation where they would completely be wiped out. I'm also seeing too that you guys should pay attention. If someone is suddenly traveling, because there's a lot of cars here of movement, somebody could have possibly, oh my goodness. Somebody literally could have tried to have someone hurt or harmed in some type of way while they are out of town to make it look like something just naturally happened. Someone definitely tried to plan having an alibi. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I'm getting here where somebody could have for sure paid someone, possibly even a, in a different country. To plan some type of heavy spiritual attack to get rid of someone, to hurt a part a person, to harm them. And they they decided to go out of town so that they wouldn't be in the same local area or something like that in hopes of having some type of alibi. Everything here has already been seen. Yeah. Somebody thought they were real clever. I feel like somebody even went out of their way to try to like post some content. Um, I just heard repurposed, repurposed content. So somebody, somebody could be trying to make it seem like, you know, they're in one city, one state or something like somebody could be posting old um, footage is what I'm saying. Somebody could like be out of town and they're posting old footage to make it look like they're out of town. This not wherever this person is saying that they are is not where they actually are. The person that played a big role in um, this attack, they're not where they say they are. If someone is posting on social media, especially like, oh, you know, they're they're in a different country, they're out of town, or they're traveling. No, they're not. They're trying to create a situation because this is a premeditated situation. I'm, I'm, you know. You know, somebody tried to, this is like attempted robbery or somebody tried to hurt a person. They're trying to make it look like they're not a part of this. This was a setup gone wrong because, yeah. Wow. I, I feel like somebody too, they, they really carefully try to plan whatever this situation is it did not work it did not work you have here the x i'm just gonna pull a few of these cards the x and lawsuit 
and you see the Libra scales here, there's going to be justice here. This is someone's ex. Could be male or female. What, look at that. Catfish. <laughs> Access denied. Copycat. Wow. So somebody has been lying about who they are. And remember I just said, it's like somebody here, they po they possibly um created like some type of fake profile or something like that. Somebody is already aware that you're about to receive some type of huge upgrade or transformation. Um, they, they, they could have seen this last year during around Christmas or they know that this year by Christmas, you know, we think about some, of course, gifts. Somebody knows that you're about to receive a major gift. Your life is about to be upgraded. Again, there's an offer here that's coming in or it has come in for someone. It's going to transform your life and upgrade it completely. Either you or someone that you're connected to or about to connect with. Somebody was in the background pretending to be something that they're not or making fake accounts or, or something like that. Somebody now is bound to a situation. An altercation may break out and someone may be arrested. And it says here, you're hired. Seeing things from a higher perspective. Somebody here was trying to block a person possibly from getting a job, a home, a car, a new relationship, or whatever. Somebody was trying to block someone's new contract with black magic. It didn't work. Somebody is definitely about to receive um, something here with a business, a car, a home, treated well, a relationship. Wow. So somebody just really dug a hole for themselves or they're, they're falling in the hole really that they were planning to throw you over in. Yeah, someone here is a sweetheart and you're moving on from this toxic family situation. Someone here is in a, in a family situation. Someone here has an ex. And this ex's family, their mother, their family, they're into some very dark, wicked stuff where they're using black magic to try to block a person from moving on, but it doesn't work. It's not gonna work. It's almost like a, a family has tried to set a person up so that they couldn't move, move on away from this family dynamic or whatever. Secret admirer, the city, popularity and fame. Female relative, someone is giving you the runaround. Afraid and on vacation. Look, upset. I told you. I just told you guys. Somebody here is quote, traveling and supposedly on vacation. This person is <laughs> it's probably somewhere very afraid and upset. Somebody here is trying to get out of Dodge right now because they already know. I feel like somebody, they travel out of town. They went somewhere and did something different. They, they, and there's a family here who's possibly trying to give someone the runaround. These people are trying to set someone up for, for failure. In the background, somebody's trying to figure out why it's all this stuff. It's because you or someone you're dealing with, they're still connected to a family. So somebody could have been previously married or in a, you know, a long-term committed relationship with someone and they still have ties to this person's family or whatever the case may be. Somebody here tried to set a person up and they're pretending that they're traveling or everything is okay. This person is behind the scenes though, doing a lot of wicked stuff using black magic as well as other illegal things to try and watch a person. Someone could be hacking someone's phone, mirroring a person's phone, trying to gather information or whereabouts about somebody. You guys need to be careful if you're receiving text messages, a lot of spam links and calls, or even sometimes someone could be trying to mirror your phone or someone else's phone. Be mindful if you know that you're, you've been um, talking to someone and they start to ask you questions and you know it's things that they should already know about you. 
you need to be quick to block those energies or block access from, from certain people calling you and stuff like that. This is someone behind the scenes posing as somebody else trying to gather information about you. Like somebody could just be like all of a sudden, you know, oh, send me your address. And if this is someone that you know, like they've already come to your home before or whatever the case is, or you've linked up with this person and all of a sudden someone is asking you for information that you know that they already have or they should know, or it's just odd, be very careful because this copycat catfish energy here, yeah, it, or some of you, this is what happened and you were able to recognize, he was like, no. I'm not going to that place. I'm not giving this person my information or somebody could have, you know, said, you know, it could be spam calls, prank calls or whatever, but somebody is, is doing this to try to gather information about you. Somebody wants to know where you are. Cause I'm going to be honest. I really feel that somebody is trying to send someone to you or somebody is trying to locate you so that some type of magic can work. Somebody needs your contact information, your address. They need more information about you so that it's easier for them to lo locate you. Because I feel like somebody here, they're running out of things to do. Whatever they're, they're doing as far as binding you energetically, it's not working. That's not working. So they're like, we, we need to take this a step further now. Wow. So this could be somebody literally trying to send someone like to your home or, you know, it, it's giving very much like a some type of planned attack. And this person thought that they were real. Look at this self-love and trap. Somebody was trying to trap somebody. I'm telling you, somebody wanted you to trick, like to trick you into doing something. You guys need to be careful too of a person trying to like come back into your your life or your energy and they're inviting you on some type of vacation. I did a reading like this more than like a year ago where I was saying, be careful of people who suddenly want to travel with you and stuff like that. Um, especially people from your past, whether it's friends, family or lovers. Some of these people are running away from situations and they're trying to use you as an alibi. It's just something here where you need to be very careful be very vigilant at this time because someone is either sending someone from a distance to try to do something to you or someone is trying to get you to travel with them or go somewhere so that they can do something to you or someone that you're connected with. Pride. Someone is in their ego. But see, there's evidence of this. Here you have the three people. Like I said, here's it. Same, I told you, it's a collaboration. This is a group effort. Indulgence is here, promise and luck and disturbance. This this is um for sure, y'all. This this could be male or female, but somebody here has someone in their life that is trying to stop someone from having blessings, luck just the favor of God in a person being able to offer someone a commitment or going to like a new relationship. It could be business or love or both. Somebody I feel knows that you're, yeah, here you have it. Someone here has turned their back on a situation here. It, this is a third party situation. Look, here's a third wheel card. It's a third party situation. And someone here has successfully put an end to it. Someone here is in some type of alliance with a professional, possibly a professional person who um, is helping them to cover up illegal activities and do things that they have no business doing. This is going to backfire. Yeah, because see somebody here, they put an end to some kind of situation with an ex, whoever this person is who's in the background causing all this chaos and confusion they're doing this because someone ended something with them and whoever ended the situation i feel like this masculine they're about to have victory and success moving forward and someone is very happy because someone here has has already they got themselves caught disturbance they got themselves caught here 
trying to hurt or harm a person. It goes back to what I said the first few minutes. Somebody knew that a person was about to make someone some kind of offer or they're receiving an upgrade, an offer. It could be a job, a house, a car. Somebody's life is finally moving forward. They're getting themselves out of some kind of situation. They've gotten out of a situation, I feel, and now that they are about to have this new beginning, somebody did something very, very bad to try to stop or block this person. But see, it was one thing for them to try to stop whoever they were previously involved with. But when they attack whoever you are watching this reading, when they attack you, that's when all hell broke loose. Somebody, they should have lived well enough alone. It was one thing for them to try to attack their ex, but now that they're trying to attack you because maybe this person is now interested in you and you carry this earth angel, high priestess, hierophant like energy, being one of God's favorite, one of God's chosen. Yeah, somebody now, they, they got themselves completely screwed now because there's no way they can get out of this. There's nothing but evidence here in this situation. I wasn't, I was, I'm not planning to use this deck, but I just picked it up accidentally. The wedding card is here. Like I said, this is a contract. It's a relationship. Somebody here has found out that someone is moving towards a relationship. Look, false person in sudden well. I feel like somebody paid a lot of money to send in a false person to try to trick someone, possibly even someone at a distance. But again, this false person, they're traveling or they claim that they're traveling because they're trying to make it look like they're not around or they're not involved in this situation. No, they are. <laughs> Here's she, false person. This, this is a, for some, it's a woman who's been behind the scenes. She won't let this person go. Great fortune. Community is here. Occupation. Expectation of, of a change in someone's family room. Bad health. Yeah. Somebody knows that someone here is about to make um, a drastic change in their life and go towards someone new. This person is very upset about being rejected. Look at this. It's a whole lot of money. I tell you that. Great fortune and sudden wealth. So, again, the Ten of Pentacles was one of the first cards that came out in the reading with the Emperor. So, somebody knows that a, a masculine is about to have sudden wealth. And they're about to take an offer to somebody. And they're going to be happy. And moving forward. But see, again, they're walking away. Somebody here is mad that a masculine has walked away from them. And they're about to make some type of huge offer to someone else. This may not be someone. They may not be wealthy now, but it's in the cards for someone to have great success and wealth. Somebody is very upset now that they're, they weren't able to trick or bind a person. And, and for some, like I said, I'm picking, this could be a woman that's doing this and their family. But on the flip side, this could be a divine feminine. You could have someone in your life that knows that you're about to receive a lot of happiness, peace, and contentment from a significant relationship or business idea or opportunity. There's just a, this is just a heavy attack on the entire collective of divine beings. Anything that you have been manifesting, whether it's love, abundance, or both, you have people that are watching and monitoring everything to try and stop or block this. And it has a lot to do with relationships and money. Wow, I cannot make this up. Relationships and money. Mature man and woman. This is a spiritual connection. These two people, they're, they're, they're wise. They're, they're a match for one another. Together, when these two people come together using their gifts, their talents, their abilities, they're unstoppable. And there's an official person here that's going to be letting someone know very soon. Someone is going to snitch on whoever this is in the background, this false person. Somebody is going, wow, this false person who is very childish. Just playing around with these different people who are at a distance doing this spell work and they're pretending like they're traveling or trying to bait someone into certain situations. Wow. This person here is going to be in trouble. Somebody 
you see it here, the message of an official person. Someone is about to let someone know that they're, they could be facing jail time, seriously. One more, please. Whoa, thief. Message of concern. Mm. Poverty. Somebody tried to steal someone's life. Poverty, despair, family, bad health. Somebody has a real ignorant idiot in their family that's been attacking somebody and their family has possibly been helping them to do this. They going to lose everything. Everything. I, you cannot make this up. Like I said, when I turn on the camera and I see a deck, it's a message here. This deck, this message was so clear. Literally, message of concern, official person, imprisonment. Somebody's going to get a message that an official person is going to be taking this false person to jail. Spiritual jail, physical, real jail, whatever. Someone's getting a message of concern that a person tried to steal from them. Or like I said, this could be divine feminine. You're getting confirmation that somebody tried to steal from you or have you in bad health. This could be this dark black magic that somebody was doing here. And this is a family. This family is going to be in despair and they're going to be facing poverty because of this person in their family who has possibly been doing all of this spell work or paying for spell work to be done because they want to keep someone connected to them somehow. Thirty-five and thirty-six pathway, distant horizons. Again, somebody's pathway is not going to be stopped or blocked. You're still going to receive what's what's yours because you're a sweetheart. Or this masculine is a sweetheart in this deck. I think there's two different sweetheart cards. There's a masculine here. Somebody here. Is, there's a there's a good man, a good woman here. marriage courthouse privileged lady yeah somebody has made a decision so somebody here is, is just pissed because the person has made a decision to make someone an offer that could potentially lead to marriage or it's two people who are coming together they're definitely going to make a lot of money together and somebody went so far as in the background to i'm seeing this person on social media acting like they're traveling you know they're trying to pay um post different locations and all of this like, this person really has some huge, like, plan. And they thought that they're, I don't know, that, like, this this could easily be hidden. It can't be. It's too much evidence here. Somebody, Somebody's IP address and everything is going to lead right back to them. And it doesn't matter what they try to do. Like, it's all, it's already up and stuck. Like I said, whatever this is, this plan, it came to a screeching halt. Somebody here could have actually on the way to do something, something happened. While someone was on their way to something, they could have gotten arrested or whatever. But I feel like this is going to come to it as a surprise to somebody. They're not going to be expecting this. But I bet you that I bet they're scared now because if you're still moving forward and receiving any kind of upgrades, then that means that none of their spell work was successful. So it has to be returned to wherever it came from. Wow. Yeah, this is a family. Someone's ex. Someone's ex and their ex's mother and their family has been trying to give somebody the runaround. These people could be well known in the city. Okay. This could be an, an affluent, wealthy family or something like that. They're well known, well connected. They're upset. Whoever this female is, is upset. This person is upset and afraid, though, because there is a masculine here who was thinking about a sweetheart, a divine feminine, who they want to treat well. This person is upset. So whoever this is, they decided now that they, they spiritually attacked the wrong person. I, that's all I can say, because all of this just went left. And whoever did this, they did a lot. And there's no way they can cover their tracks. So they did a lot because these people thought they did things in the physical realm. And they also did a lot of things in the spirit realm as well. So, yeah. Yeah.